You talk a lot about pen maintenance, but what about maintaining your maintenance tools? Should I put silicone grease on my ink syringes plunger? Should I bleach an ink syringes plastic barrel? That's uh, this is a new one. I've never been asked how to maintain maintenance tools. Um, so I grabbed a couple of them. Um, I think one might have rolled off the desk as I was talking. Yep. So I got like the Goulet kind of pen cleaning set here, um, which consists of Goulet flush with a little sample vial, ink syringe, uh, and a bulb syringe. Uh, I personally don't do a whole lot to maintain my maintenance tools, honestly, if I just have to be frank. Um, definitely though, you mentioned one thing about the silicone grease on the plunger. That helps a lot. Even if you just get the thing, if you have silicone grease handy, it's not required, but you can just pull the plunger right out the back, put a little bit of grease on here, stick it back in, and it's just gonna operate so smoothly, especially if you wanna operate it with one hand. It just makes it easier having a little less friction on there. That's about the only maintenance you need, you know? And then whenever you finish it up and you clean it, you know, a new ink, you want a new ink in there, you just pull it out, I wash it out. Um, sometimes I'll use a toothbrush or a pipe cleaner or something in there if the ink is particularly like clingy on the side, but I don't really sweat it too, too much. Um, you know, it, it, as long as it functions, that pretty much gets the job done. You know, kind of like flush some ink through. I might use pen flush to clean out the syringe every now and then um, if it feel that it needs it with the particular ink that I've used. Um, but uh, you know, usually if you're using an ink syringe, you're filling an ink, you're sticking it right out, you clean it out right away. It's really not gonna get too like gunked up, messed up just from, because you're not letting the ink sit in here and dry out like it might in a fountain pen. That's when things really need to get thoroughly cleaned. Uh, bulb syringe like this, not really too much that needs to get maintained. Um, the only thing that you might want to do every now and then, um, you know, because you are getting water inside there and then you, you let it go and it'll kind of like dry out just from the little air that's in the tip here. But uh, I could see it getting kind of gross on the inside. So it might be a bad idea to just get some like uh, bleach, not like maybe straight bleach, but like a diluted bleach, kind of sucking it up in there, shaking it out, you know, mixing it in there. So if there is anything like leftover from the water getting kind of stale inside the bulb syringe, you can kind of kill whatever's in there. Um, but uh, you know, I don't know how often you really need to do that. Not that often, really, uh, maybe once every couple of months or something, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, and then the pen flush, you know, if you have the little vial and you use that over and over again, just kind of, you know, dump it out, clean it out. It's not really gonna get that dirty because you're filling it with cleaning stuff. Um, the thing that's cool about the flush here with the separate vial is you're not like flushing and cleaning within the flush itself. You can kind of dispense it into the little vial and then you can just kind of keep that disgusting looking as you clean your, out your pen multiple times and then you just dump it you know, kind of rinse it out and then you can put more flush in there. And that's, that's really about it. There's no maintenance really that needs to happen with any of that. And that's kind of, that's kind of about it. So not really a whole ton. You pretty much covered it, you know, yourself, just even with the questions you have there. So 